Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. We had a combat heavy and exposition heavy installment last time. And as a matter of fact, I don't even really need to be in this room. I just came here for safety after all the uh, excitement. What I'm going to do now is actually go right back the way I came. Also, hang on. Much better. Annoying, but no longer my problem. Now, do you remember this from the photo we picked up? A display cabinet with a ship model and some kind of balance. Well, we have weight for that balance. It's the flask with water. Look at that, back in the lobby. Guess where I'm going. I hear spooky zo- yep, and I see spooky zombies. This sucks. Do you think? I'm curious. Oh my goodness, I actually got by him. Right. Anyway. Oh. -ho. Activate the mechanism. Yep. Gilded key. Ground floor east. Guess where I'm going. That's not good. Get ready now, it's spam time. <laughs> nope, never mind. Ugh, this monster's a little worst. I'm not making it past this guy. Had to play it straight for him. You just have to know they're gonna be here. Unbelievable. And look at my ammo, we're in dire straits now. Two first aid kits though. Another small gilded key. Ground floor west. Do I just go right back out and around again? A statue of an owl. Well, you know what owl's favorite things are, right? Wolves! Oh, there's another key. In the plinth of the statue. This time I have a steel key. First floor east. So there's... What did it say? Ground floor and first floor, right? So I guess we're doing British style, where what I would call the first floor is the ground floor, and what I would call the second floor is the first floor? There is another way to go, it seems.
there is not another way to go, it seems. Actually, real quick, I'll check for items, but I don't expect anything. Now that, that that was it, that was full circle. Oh well. Oh, I gambled and I won? Uh, you know what? No. I'm right back here again. Got a staircase. But to where? How nice. Again, how nice. <laughs> Excuse me? A grenade launcher. Really now? It is a devastating weapon. You know what? I'll bet it is. Oh, that puts me in a good mood. Five shots and I haven't seen any spare ammo, so I want to save it. In the attic. I went through there. I saw that there's some sort of trap door on the floor. You'll see it. When you walk on it, it has a hollow sound. I met Edenshaw, the old Indian. He told me he was the last witch doctor. He says he can do something that will stop all this madness. Do you think we can trust him? I met him too. He seemed to know a lot more than he said. But I don't think we have much of a choice anyhow. He needs seven statues to carry out some sort of ritual. Well, why doesn't he go looking for them? Can't we help him? Sure. <laughs> what do these statues look like? I don't really know. They depict some kind of animals, I think. Oh, well, that narrows it down. Carnby, I'm sure it's really important. I know, I know. We'll find his statues for him. But after that, we're going home. And where is your home? I don't know yet. We'll get to that later. What? Over. I do appreciate the, the snarky banter. Is this anything? Well, there's a door. Otherwise, I guess nothing. I'm checking these objects just to be sure. Alright, I guess let's just get out of here. If I can figure out how to... There we go. Locked. Well. Remember the small rusty key? Second floor west. And remember, I'm on effectively the third floor. We said that we're in the attics. See? Manor attics. Two boxes of shells. Yeah, the gimmick is they're afraid of my flashlight. What I'm afraid of is getting this item. God, this sucks. Let me get the item, for God's sake. I'm clearly looking at it. Thank you, it's a lighter. Excuse me now. I'm going to use the radio. Aline? Yes, where are you? Still in the attic. I can't locate that trap door you told me about. I know, it's not that easy to spot. But if you're real careful, you'll see there's this hollow sound when you walk over it. Could you be a little more precise? I'm telling you, you can't miss it. Fair enough. Let's get out of here. Oh, 
else. Checking for items. I think that's the hollow area. All right, let's do it. We can use our crowbar. Small key and small gilded key, huh? Ground floor west. First floor office. Second floor east, or second feast. That's how I... No, it's not how I came in. This is how I came in. Or this is how I came in. Okay, that's sealed up. Also sealed up. This is not going well. Okay. Oh, a scene. Oh, gross. Okay, if it's the little enemies, then I'm going to go for my customized revolver. Cartridges and bullets. Good thing I changed my aim really quickly, huh? A candle. All right, really? I actually see more. The moving thing on the bottom of the screen, but not my problem right now. What is? is I'll use my lighter, Archibald Morton's lighter, and engraved storm lighter. Let's use it. There's a draft coming from this partition. That knock is from when I press spacebar to investigate, which means... Crowbar again. And it's open. Stay, kid. I deserve that. Ho oh, ho ho! See, last installment, I thought that one of the first proper monster enemies in the game would be pushed away by light, but nope, it's these guys. And in fact, turning on the light just takes them out. Back to where I got the first aid kit. We could just go in here. Oh. You're back. Back? Who are you talking about? But who are you? The name's Carnby. Edward Carnby. And I'm here to help you. Do not lie to me. You are here for something else. Are you with the young lady? Aline? Do you know where she is? Oh, she is most probably dead by now. You know, Mr. Carnby, of all those who set foot on the island, few ever got away. Obed told me he spoke to a man, uh, it was last week, I think. Obed was sure the man was going to help us. Oh, Obed has always been gullible. This man, was his name Fisk? Charles Fisk? How can one be sure of anything on Shadow Island? have come to harm my sons. No, no, you've got me all wrong. Go to the library and burn it all. Let the flames purify this hellish place. But what about you? I am already dead. 
go to hell. Damn. Well, got nothing more to say to that. I do like that there's a million candles in here for light. Anyway, back to light switch door. It's locked, but not for long. So some mana. Jeez. All right, calm down. I'm locked. Where am I? I guess I can't quite tell. Aline? Carnby? Yeah. I just don't understand what part Obed Morton's playing in all this business. My feeling is that it's his brother who holds all the answers. His brother? Alan. Obed's twin brother. So that's it. It seems as though Alan Morton is... <sighs> How can I put it? Diabolic. Yeah, that's the term that fits him best. <laughs> I found out he killed his own father, Howard, and used him as a subject for his experiments. He's a monster. Aline, you're holding something back. I believe. I think that Alan Morton, like some sort of Dr. Moreau, genetic manipulation of some kind, but not on animals, on creatures of darkness. Oh, that would explain... Aline, we've got to stop him. Carnby, I'm way out of my element here. And I'd be a liar if I told you I've got it under control. Just keep your chin up. Nope. Okay, I might actually die. Let's go ahead and heal once. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to lure this thing around. I forgot. So I'm trying to get the door open. This is proving to be not worth it. Well, at least I got a first aid kit back. Freaking ridiculous. I have to use two of these things. <sighs> anyway. A gun rack. Empty. There was enough to arm a garrison? How would you know if it's empty? Unless there's boxes lying around. I don't freaking know. Gee, that is, that is the one scare in this game that I remember. And I did not remember that it was in this room. I do remember there was an eternal darkness situation where, well, you're surrounded by enemies, just kidding. That's really, really good. A book concerning the conception of the library. Not my problem. Get a book. Another Allen diary. The human shadow fusion has become a reality. All these years of groping my way along, how many false leads have I followed? How many detours? But today, today the truth is standing before my very eyes. Oh, Father, your veins run once again with life. Father, you are my firstborn son. That's a weird dynamic. The cells of the creatures of darkness do not contain, properly speaking, DNA. Rather, a crystalline structure with surprising photosensitive properties is present. It is as though the creatures didn't reproduce, or rather, as if they multiplied, after the manner of bacteria. I don't yet understand the factors which trigger this multiplication, but it is obvious that once I manage to pass behind the gate, I will know infinitely more. The fusion is based on a principle of surprising simplicity, for which I haven't yet mastered all the elements. It is necessary to first extract a few milligrams of the crystalline structure the most effective being those that cluster around the center of what could pass for a skull. The creatures have neither skeleton nor flesh nor, properly speaking, blood. They are closer in structure to the mineral than the animal. One could say it is as though mineral attempted to imitate the evolution of the living. Once extracted, the crystalline structures are injected directly into the vascular system of a dead, or living, human. I am persuaded I can perfect the procedure. Mixing the crystalline structures of different creatures, I obtained a more stable result. I can't deny that, 
reading the lines I have just written, I have the impression of holding a treaty on medieval medicine in my hands. It is nonetheless the truth, the fruits of my labor. The world of darkness is revealing its secrets to me. From now on, I will need more bodies. I am going to multiply the experiments. Obed will provide the supply. His friends on the continent seem to have even less scruples than me. Than I, but still, eerie. The drawer is locked. Well, got it. Large ornate key, half of a photograph, okay. Ground floor library, well good. I'm gonna need to go there. A torn black and white photograph of a small boy in front of a stone arch in a cave. Well, two, five, one, eight. Maybe we'll need to remember that. All right, I've gotten what I want from this room. All right, gotta make it past this guy. That was scary. Oh, anyway. First aid kit. Charm of saving. Oh, geez. Wow, we haven't seen Eldritch stuff in Alone in the Dark since, what, the first game? Want to see something cool? Haha! -ha. Also, let me heal. I apparently need to do that. Again. Annoying, but we're in. What did... Look at my ammo! Three boxes of phosphorus cartridges. Maybe that'll actually last me for more than five minutes. What? Well, <laughs> Hold on, hold on. A rocket launcher pistol, it said when I picked it up? A rocket launcher pistol. It can be used to accurately fire distress rockets, which makes it a powerful and effective weapon. You know, in a game where enemies hate light, I'll bet it does. For a second there, when it said distress rockets, I was like, oh no, but no, it could be an actual weapon. That is crazy. You know something? I'm on board. Alright, now this room is done, but I'm not yet done exploring the hallway, so hopefully I don't get ambushed by a hundred enemies. And that door just doesn't work. Alright. Let me just see where I came from. Okay, I think I actually want to go all the way on the opposite end of the hallway. Not the end of the world. There are four of these things? Hey look, it's a bust of Richard Morton. Anyway... Oh, that's okay. I'd better have the key. Is it the third one? It's not the ornate one. Okay, is it the steel one? Oh, thank God. Oh, great. They tagged me once, but I got them. Half of a photograph, huh? Richard Morton. You don't know me, and as long as you don't know me, your path will be strewn with pitfalls and perils. My name is Judas Deserto. 
Even if you may not know me, I know all about you. I know about your sleepless nights, the evenings you spend huddled cold and alone. I know about your fear of the day, and about the terrible loneliness you feel faced with the unknown, face to face with something words can't describe. In the course of a life that has been too, too long, I have encountered the creatures of the night. I can help you overcome them, master them, and make them your slaves, your servants. You will find supreme power, the power of the absolute that knows no bounds for all eternity. You will find that wielding it brings intense pleasure. My name is Judas Deserto, and already you are getting to know me better. In exchange for this power that already I feel surging through your veins, I ask of you one small favor, a small request with which you will not fail to comply once the time is ripe. All I require is that you send me the small promissory note enclosed, signed with your blood. My name is Judas Deserto, and now you know who I am. Damn, that's intimidating. Is this guy just the devil or what? Looking for other items here. Oh, hello, another book, diary. Oh, Eden Shaw and I. Eden Shaw was like a real father for us. He was Grandpa Jeremy's best and only friend. I always felt there was a strong bond between us, like we shared a secret or the responsibility for a terrible mistake. I remember when we were kids, he would always get Alan and me mixed up. Grandpa Jeremy in the Fort Laboratory. Jeremy would spend days and nights on end in this workshop. It was here, too, that I started my own scientific career. Eden Shaw had his bedroom just next door, as if my grandfather couldn't go without having him around. Another photo. Picture taken during our visit to the Anthropology Museum in Boston. My grandfather organized a visit for my 15th birthday. That visit determined my choice of profession. I remember how surprised I was at just how much Eden Shaw knew. In Grandpa Jeremy's workshop. My grandfather's workshop was like Alibaba's cave, but I always sensed that behind his carefree appearance, the research he carried out had very far-reaching consequences. Eden Shaw in the garden of the estate. Eden Shaw said little about his Native American origins, which gave him a certain mystery and a certain aura. I am still convinced that he knows much more than he lets on. July 13th, 1991. Alan has done something terrible. Howard, our father. We are going straight to hell. Damn. That's something else. A large ornate key and the charm of saving. And cartridges. Yeah, I have two large ornate keys. Ground floor library. Do I need both of these for this? Also, I, I wasn't paying quite enough attention. It looks like I have the other half of the photograph. I picked that up with some of my stuff. So... Stone Arch, we got that one. A torn black and white photograph of a small boy in front of a stone arch. They both did the same thing. This kid's on the left. Oof, and Spooky Skull, and this kid's on the right. This one says 1408. And the other one says 2518. If we combine them, a black and white photograph of two small boys in front of a stone arch in a cave. 1408 plus 2518. Interesting. Okay, I think my work here is done, but I have a million bullets, but let me just, uh, well, I mean, I have a bunch of bullets, but I have a million shells. 
God damn, really? And zombies. Okay, that's not so bad. I do not like these guys. And I do have to go all the way past them. I would like to make it to uh, past the green door. The green door was tentacle room, but I want to try stairs door. I'm going to try something very stupid. Or he's going to turn around. Looks like it's my lucky day. Goodbye. A little nervous about the sounds I'm hearing. I think we're good. This is it. Oh. Carnby? I'm in the library. <laughs> it's awesome. Don't touch anything. It probably contains treasures. Do you really think I don't know the difference between a pulp novel and an Elzevor edition? An Elzevor? I'd never have guessed that such a term were part of your vocabulary. Oh yeah? Well, don't worry. I'm just full of surprises. Over. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, don't worry. Alright, this I think is where I'm going to stop, but for safety. Well, not for safety, but just to avoid this stuff again, I'm going to refresh the room. There we go. Did I use both keys? I apparently have another large ornate key. Then again, there is another set of double doors in here, so who knows. But, I'm going to use a charm, which by the way, it's a good thing I did. You'll, you'll notice that I have 39 instead of 40. You know, it's a funny coincidence, because when I first entered that room and I got the, the zombie jump scare, it was right as I was examining the book that I couldn't read that said, oh, it's a thing about books or whatever, and the zombies were sort of frozen on the screen comically because the game freezes when you're reading flavor text. So I thought, oh, that wasn't a good jump scare moment. So I saved and reloaded the game because it restarts the room. And then I got the proper jump scare. And once I completed the room, when I left, there were all those monsters in the hallway, and they just killed me. So I, I actually would have lost the entire installment. But it turns out that I died the moment after I saved, so boy was I lucky. So here I am, minus one charm, but I have freaking 39 of them. Soon to be 38, as a matter of fact. See? Carnby Allen's office? Go figure. The luck. The absolute luck. Anyway, for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We explored still more of the manor, kept in contact with Aline, and went up to the attic. We finally opened the library. We actually unlocked a whole lot of doors in this one. There was a bunch of combat, but we actually managed to avoid a little bit of it. New enemy type, turn on lights to kill it. Crazy tentacle monster, shoot a lamp to kill it. And we actually have shells. You know how quickly I burn through those things, but we have a lot of them. And we have a grenade launcher and a rocket launcher. We are loaded for bear. Until next time, everyone.